Hi, I'm Melissa Perello of Francis and Octavia Restaurants in San Francisco. And today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy recipe for kale salad. When I make kale salad, I like to incorporate a lot of different textures and flavors in order to kind of make a more dynamic salad. And we're gonna start by marinating some sliced fennel and sliced celery. So I start with just about a handful of each in a large mixing bowl. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. We're gonna squeeze a little bit of fresh lemon juice. We're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil, a nice few glugs. And then we're just going to toss the vegetables in this dressing to marinate for a few moments. So now that our vegetables have had a, a few seconds to marinate in the dressing, we're going to add some kale. Today I have lacinato kale, red Russian kale, as well as some baby kale. For the lacinato kale, I pull the large pieces of stem and just tear it into large pieces straight into the bowl. Red Russian kale is very similar. I rip the large portions of the stem off as well, snap it at the top, and again, just tear it into large pieces straight into your bowl. Baby kale is nice because it doesn't need very much preparation. You just snip the stems and give it a nice wash, and then it just all goes into your bowl. The next tip in making kale salad is really making sure to properly marinate your kale to really get in there with your hands and uh, give it a good massage. It helps to break down the kale and kind of soften it. So we have a pan on nice high heat. We're gonna get the pan really hot. And today we're going to use some radishes that have been washed and split in half, as well as some nice fresh green chickpeas. When our pan is nice and hot, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil just to coat the bottom of the pan. And when you see some smoke beginning to rise from the pan, you know that your pan's hot. I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit. And I'm gonna add my radishes cut side down. Sometimes I like to slide them in from the side of the pan. This helps to keep from getting any hot oil on your hands. And you'll hear them start to sizzle and pop a little bit, so just watch. And over a nice high heat, we're gonna let these radishes really caramelize and get some nice char to them. Once they've cooked for about a minute or so on that cut side, we're gonna sprinkle a little salt to season. And then we're gonna add a nice handful of the green chickpeas, just sprinkle them throughout. We're not looking to cook the vegetables for very long because we wanna retain that crunch. So after about two minutes, we can give the pan a nice shake, but we're gonna leave those radishes, try to keep them all on their cut side down. So once I start to see some nice colorization on the radishes and the chickpeas, I'm gonna give it a little toss. I'm gonna put this on my plate. The kale's had a few minutes to rest and relax in here with our nice marinated fennel and celery. And I'm gonna add some additional ingredients to finish the salad. Today I'm using some feta cheese, which I'm gonna crumble into our bowl. I like the feta because it gives the salad a nice creamy texture as well. And I have fresh mint, cilantro, and parsley all picked and washed in here. I'm gonna add a nice big handful. Adds a really nice, fresh, bright flavor. I'm gonna give this a really nice toss. Again, don't be afraid to over mix your kale salad. It's really what's best. So our seared radishes and chickpeas have had a few moments to rest and cool down. We're gonna go ahead and sprinkle those into our salad. And I'm gonna reserve some on the side to just garnish over the top of the salad. So again, give those a nice toss. Get those nice and dressed with your dressing. And just arrange your greens. Feel free to add a few additional vegetables for color. You could always add a little bit more cheese over the top if you'd like. For the finishing touch on our salad, we're gonna add some toasted garlic chips, which are really quick and easy to make and a great addition for some crunch and extra texture. And here it is, a really quick and easy kale salad. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoy making the salad at home.